Hello friends, today we are going to do quick revision of chapter number 10, circles. So from basic, there can be three relationship between a line and a circle. First of all, the either they will intersect at one point or they will intersect at two point or they will not intersect. This can be the three condition between this line and a circle. So first condition we can see that they will not intersect. The second condition is they will intersect at one point and the third condition is they will intersect at two points. So there can be three conditions between line and a circle. Either they will not intersect. When it is intersecting at one point then that line is called tangent. When it is intersecting at two points that line is called second and there is no other condition than this. Only three conditions are either they will intersect at one point, either they will not intersect or they will intersect at two point. More than this, there is no other condition. So you have to keep this in mind. Then we are going to study about tangent in detail in this chapter. So let us start that tangent. One definition is given to you in the in your textbook and that is very much important because I had seen in one or two paper they had asked this definition. So the, you have to de remember this definition that the the tangent to a circle is a special case of second when the two end points when the two end points of its corresponding code coincide means the two end points are intersecting at the one single point then that is called tangent what means again i am repeating the definition the tangent to a circle is a special case of second where both the end points are intersecting at one point or you can say when the two end points of its corresponding code coincide means both the end, end points are here only you can say it is given in your textbook you can refer to that and sometimes they had asked this so please remember that now again how many tangents can pass through a single point on a circle only one tangent can pass through it. if you try to make more than this you will come to know that this line becomes second so only one tangent can pass through a point on the circle if they tell you how many tangents we can draw to a circle then it infinitely many tangent we can draw to a circle but if a point is given on a on a circle and they told you to find out the ten number of tangent then only one now maximum how many parallel tangents you can draw to a circle only two here and here no third line will be parallel to this and that can be the tangent yes if you try to draw a line parallel to the then that becomes second so you will not get the third line that is tangent to this circle and parallel to this one so only two tangents can be drawn parallel to each other to a circle now theorem 10.1 if in a, means this is a tangent and if you draw or if you join the center to that tangent co point of contact if you draw a line then that line or that radius will be perpendicular with the tangent so you can say that radius is perpendicular to the tangent this is your theorem 10.1 how you can prove this look here i am telling you this is your tangent this is your center point if you join this we had learned in lower stand that the shortest distance between a point and a line is always perpendicular. If you take any other point then this P on this line, suppose I am taking Q, then what will happen? If I join O to Q, then OQ will be greater than OP. Why? Because Q is outside the circle and P is on the circle. If you try to take any point other than P on the tangent, then that distance P or if you take R or S or T any point other than P on the tangent then that distance will be greater than OP. So at last OP is the shortest distance between the O and the tangent. So we can say that this will be perpendicular means OP will be perpendicular to this tangent. This, this is your theorem 10.1. Now again we are starting solving textbook look here. NCRT 10.0 how many tangent can a circle have infinitely many if they had you know, then how many tangents can be drawn to a circle given one point on that circle then 
only one but they had how many circles can a tangent have in as can a circle have a circle has infinitely many tangents a tangent to a circle it intersect it in one point a line intersect intersecting a circle in two point is called second a circle can have dash parallel tangent at the most means two parallel i told you in the beginning two parallel tangents at the most the common point of a tangent to a circle and the circle is called the common point of a tangent to a circle means this point this circle and this intersecting point this intersecting point is called point of contact this is called point of contact a tangent pq at a point p of a circle of radius look here i am drawing the figure a tangent pq or at a point p of a circle of radius 5 cm meets the line through the center at point q means from q this distance is 12 and tangent pq at a point p of a circle means this oq this p and they said the radius is 5 you have to find out this generally the students we know that Pythagoras triplet is 5, 12 and 13. So, student will think this is 13. No. Here the hypotenuse is 12. So, you have to find this with the help of Pythagoras. And you will get this is under root 119. Generally, I had seen student taking this 13 because we know that the Pythagoras triplet is 5, 12 and hypotenuse will become 13. But here hypotenuse is 12 and this side is 5. So, you have to find out this. And this will become under root 119 by Pythagoras. Find out this. Draw a circle and two lines parallel to a given line such that one is tangent and the other is second to a circle. Means first we have to draw a circle and a line. Now one line parallel to this and that is tangent and one line parallel to this that is second. This line can be you can take it on the circle also outside the wherever you want to take but one should be tangent parallel to this and one should be second parallel to this. So this way now moving towards exercise 10.2 before that theorem 10.2 the length of the tangent drawn from an external point to a circle are equal means if from external point look here. first of all again there are three condition if sir if um, there can be three condition between a circle and a point either the point can be in the exterior of the circle on the circle or in the interior of the circle Whenever it is in the interior of the circle, you cannot draw any tangent passing through this point. When it is on the circle, we can draw one tangent passing through that point. And from the exterior, we can draw maximum two tangent passing through this circle. So again, that same thing you have to use it here. This is your center, a circle, one point P, that is exterior of the circle. How many tangents we can draw? We can draw two tangents. One will go here, one will go here and this will be your center point O. Now we have to prove that this tangent to this distance AP will be equal to PB. How we can prove? First join this. By theorem 10.1 we can know that we know these two are perpendicular because tangents are perpendicular with the radius. Now we have to join this and we have to make these two triangles congruent. How we can make? Look here, this 1990, this OP common between these two triangles and this radius OA and OB are the radius of the same circle so by RHS these two triangles are congruent and we can say this equals to this by CPCT so first we have to make these two triangles congruent by RHS and then by CPCT you can say PA is equals to PB so this was your theorem 10.2 so now moving towards question and CIT question here exercise number 10.2 question number one from a point q the length of the tangent to a circle is 24 and the distance of q from the center is 25 the radius of the circle so again we have to make figure for that from a point q the length of the tangent to a circle from a point q the length of the tangent to a circle look here the length of the tangent is 24 centimeter and the distance and, and the distance of q from the center so this distance is 25 from the center distance is 25 this distance is i am giving them this 
as P. Now join this, and we know this is perpendicular. The ra the radius of the circle is so by Pythagoras you can find out this. This will be your hypotenuse. This will be your base, and this will be your perpendicular. You can find out that. Uh, I don't know. I, I solve it so you solve by yourself. I think seven will come here, but you have to solve by yourself by Pythagoras. Now moving towards next question. In the figure ten point eleven, if TP and TQ are the two tangents to a circle with center O, so that angle POQ is equals to one zero, then angle PTQ. We know that this is ninety degree. This is ninety degree by theorem ten point one. The tangent is perpendicular with the radius. So this is ninety ninety and this one one zero. Sum of all the four angles is of a quadrilateral. This is forming a quadrilateral. So we know all the angle sum will be three sixty. So three sixty minus this ninety ninety and one one zero. You can find out, and otherwise you can you know this if this ninety and this is also ninety. So one eighty. So sum of these two will be also one eighty. So this is one one zero. So this will obviously become seventy degree. So B is the answer. So this way you can solve this sum. Now. Question number three: If tangents P A and P B from a point P to a circle with center O are inclined to each other at an angle sixty degree, then angle P O A is equal to. Let us draw the figure. This is your circle. P A and P B are the tangents from point P to a circle with center O are inclined to each other at eighty degree. Means at an angle eighty degree. Then angle P, let me give P A B O. We have to find P O A. This we want. We know we can make these two triangles congruent as I had done it here in theorem ten point two. You make these two congruent. Now congruent, so these two will be equal. So we know eighty is there, so this will become forty forty. Now this forty, this ninety. And we know the sum of angle of all the angles of a triangle is one eighty. Subtract this two from one eighty, you will get this fifty. So we want P O A. So we put P O A is equals to fifty. Moving towards question number four, prove that the tangents drawn at the ends of a diameter of a circle are parallel. Means if you draw, this is your diameter. You can take this way also, but I am taking it. And if you draw two tangents at the end points of the diameter. We have to prove that these two are parallel. Easily we can make suppose give this name A B, and this as P Q O and C D. Now we know this O P is the radius and P A B is the tangent. So O P will be perpendicular to A B. Take angle P A O equals to sorry P A O no. So O P A equals to ninety degree. Theorem ten point. One again here also angle OQD equals to also ninety degree. Why theorem ten point one? So now this also ninety degree and this also ninety degree. So here alternate interior angles are equal. We had learned in ninth standard also if alternate interior angles are equal, what we can say? We can say the lines are parallel. Therefore AB is parallel to CD. Thank you so much for watching my video. In my next question, I am going to explain this. all some quickly so please watch my next video also thank you so much for watching my video thank you